Good morning, you guys. Today is Sunday. I've been trying to film these like little mini tutorial videos every single day. Um, you know, not lasting too long so that I could upload for you guys. So today's tutorial is going, and I have my morning voice because it's 9.06 and it's a Sunday. So I just woke up. Um, today's, let's see, video is going to be about the planner index. In my Etsy shop, I sell this planner index. I will be coming out with more colors, but for now, these are the ones I have. I love the pink leopard. And the point of it is, is with GoodNote 6, you can only buy this with GoodNote 6. Um, well, you can buy it, but you can't use it um, because GoodNote 6 allows you to hyperlink your pages. So I'm going to show you guys what mine looks like, and then I'm going to show you guys how to actually make this and how to do this. So this is the planner index I chose in my digital planner, and I have all of my pages linked. So when I click on that, it'll bring me back to my, Dece my November. I can go to my December. I can go to, whoops, I always go to my, my um, other things. I can go to my holiday book journal. This is actually linked and this holiday book journal is not even in this notebook. So you can link this notebook to different notebooks. Um, I link my work notes. Let's see if that one still goes. I've been hearing mixed reviews about the linking. Sometimes it works and sometimes I do have a little bit of trouble doing it. I don't have trouble linking. The links will kind of like not work. Um, it's, it's not as often as it was happening before, but it does happen. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You can also link to websites. So let's get into it. When you guys buy this planner index, you're going to pick the color that you want to use for, for now for one of your planners. So let's pick the, let's pick the boho theme. You're going to take the three dots at the top, right? And you're going to copy it. And you're going to bring it into your planner. So if you guys have been following my other videos, then you know that if you want to start this method of digital planning and have your digital planner look like this, the first step is to buy the monthly planner. So in my um, air, which you guys know is just for my tutorials, that would be this planner. So this planner is my monthly planner and we are going to pick a cover. I like to leave these because I want to show you guys what they come with. But for now, I'm just going to delete all of them except for the gold. I'm going to paste this page that I just copied, and this is going to be my planner index for this planner. So let's just say, I mean, right now, obviously, I only have the monthly pages because I haven't started working on my 2024 planner yet, but let's start linking each month as if, like, let's say you want to do that. You don't have to do that, but let's show you how to do it if you wanted to. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your text tool, and you're going to click here, and you're going to write, I'm first going to write January. Okay, this, this trick, by the way, will work for any, I'm just going to make sure you guys can see well. This will work for any um, page that you want to link. Um, so I'm going to click January. I'm going to write January. And then I'm going to double click it and highlight the whole word. I'm going to click link here. And it will give me this like little link page. So from here, you can click whether, if you always want it to be in your good notes, you don't even have to click this top thing. If you want externally click, um, use a link. I will show you how to do that, but you can. So like recipes, um, stuff, gift lists, all that stuff. I'll show you how to do that. Document. Now I'm going to find this planner normally because it's your main planner. It should be on your home page, but I have to go to my spiral bundles, my 2024 landscape. Um, Oh, interesting. Okay. This is really interesting. So this won't let me go that far. Oh, yes, it will. Yes, it will. I'm sorry. So you have to go to link, document, and then you click document. I thought it wasn't going to, so you have to go to page. So you have to go to spiral bundles, click on the landscape again, click select, and then, I'm sorry, you click your page in here. Um, so page will open that notebook that you selected and allow you to pick any page. I was thinking for some reason, because it was in a folder, it wasn't going to let me. And now I'm going to click the back arrow and click out. And now if I put this in read-only mode, which if you guys have ever had anything hyperlinked, you always have to click this button in order for the links to work. If I put it in read-only mode, I can now click on that and it will bring me to January. Okay. Now let's go back and let's do February again because I kind of threw you guys off there. I don't normally hold my iPad this way, but for the filming, I feel like it's a little bit easier. So I'm going to type February. I'm doing my swipe text, by the way. Um, I'm going to double click it. I'm going to click link. I'm going to click. Um, I want it to be a document, so I don't need to touch that. It's my 2024 landscape spiral. I mean, 
and then I'm gonna click the page and I'm gonna click February. And now that's linked. Now, you could even take this a step further. Some people like pictures or stickers. I don't really care. Um, I don't feel like I need to, but if you don't wanna see the link, this is what you could do. GoodNote 6 has the color dropper feature. So if you guys go to custom, if you go to the pen tool and go to custom, click on the color drop, I can get this exact hex code. Once you let go, it the hex code comes up. A hex code, by the way, is this six digit number and it's like a color code. Um, it's numbers and letters. Once you take that and you add that to your presets, that color will now live in your preset save colors. I have to admit, I need to remember to tell them that. The GoodNote 6 has not been saving my hex codes. It's a big problem. Um, I'm actually gonna write that down because I keep forgetting. Saving. Um, so now that I have the exact color, I can circle this text and change the color. If you use your lasso tool, change the color to the exact same text, you can't see it. And then you can put a sticker there. So let's just say you wanna put a cute little sticker. Let's put, I'm gonna go into my ultimate custom planning bundle. And in that bundle, I gave you guys these monthly stickers. Oops. And now you can use that. So now you have a sticker there and you can still follow the link. You should be able to. Hold on. Make it a little smaller maybe. I know people did this. Mine's not working. Let's see if it works if I exit it out. Let's just see if this is a glitch in the matrix or if this is the sticker. Yeah, see, it does work. But that was an example of how the feature can get a little bit glitchy. To be totally honest with you guys, I use, I still in my mini use my favorited pages as my links. So you guys know um, if I go to my planner, I click on the waffle button and I use these cover pages as my quick links. So if I want to get to my daily really quickly, let's say I'm in November and I want to get to a daily planner, I just click this and then I swipe over. This is mine from today. It's so cute. This is one, if you guys missed it, this is me using the custom. And I recently, I released the custom add-ons with these like really fun papers. So, um, I don't know. That's what I prefer. But if you guys want to feel, I did want to make this planner index because I do think it's useful. Let's try linking a website. Um, I'm curious to see if this is going to work better. Let's Let's go to my recipe. Let's just do it on my mini really quickly because on my mini I have this recipe page. Let's go to my holiday bundle. Um, no, it's right here. Um, okay, so for example, oh, I put this little picture. How cute is that? This is the holiday bundle. And this is me and my niece, not my baby, my niece. Um, okay, let's go to this. This was an appetizer thing I did. I want to, oh, I actually put the link already. So let's do this, ready? I'm going to double click this. No, hold on, let's copy this link first. If you don't already have the link to whatever you want to do, just um, go to your website and copy it. I'm going to double click this. I'm going to click link. I'm going to link to a website. I'm gonna paste it. Let's see if that works. Okay, honestly, to me that's a little bit more exciting than um, linking good notes pages. I have to be honest, that's more exciting. So if you guys are interested in that, you could do that too, okay? Maybe that could be a cool idea for like an index. I don't know. So I hope that helped. The only reason I have this link on here was because I, I thought I might want to click it. Um, and now you can, instead of it looking all ugly like this, you can hide it inside the um, name, which is pretty cool. Um, even, you know what you could do? Is this going to let me, oh, edit content? Yes. So I'm going to put... Okay, let me then. Um, 
hot dog recipe. So I could leave this here and then I could do um, wreath. Hot dog. Let's see if this works. Okay, it unlinked. It unlinked when I changed it. That's a little dramatic, but that's fine. So that that's how you guys can do it, guys. Super, super cute. This is my little holiday bundle. So cute. Um, I hope that you found this video helpful. Leave what you guys want to see next below. And let me know if you prefer the shorter videos or the longer videos. I'm curious to know. Because this can kind of get a little bit tedious. So I feel like the shorter ones are better. Um, I will see you guys in my next video.